What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Today, we're checking out Still Game Series 3, Episode 5, Oot. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh, look at those tellies. <laughs> that's the one I've got. Hey, that one there. That's smashing. Aye. Yeah, that's the sharp 37 inch plasma windscreen. 100 hertz tube, wall mountable. Plasma. Haven't plasma TVs been like defunct for like a decade? Also, as you can tell, it's late night, so I uh, can't sleep, so I felt like uh, checking this episode out. But plasma TVs, they're a thing of the past. Come on now. It's the bollocks. What have you got? Amstrad. Washed out colour, all fuzzy around the edges, 14 inch tube, 20 minute warm up. It's bollocks. Oh, aye. That's bollocks. See your dilemma. See, it's just too wee, son. Have you ever tried to watch a big horse race in a portable, eh? Or the football? Hundreds of tiny wee men chasing about a boy that you can't even see. It's no use. I'm needing something bigger. So what are you after? Size-wise? Uh, I don't know. I mean, how much would that there set me back? £2,700. Holy shit! £2,700, right? <laughs> oh, I forgot. It's my arse that's lined with diamonds. <laughs> what this one? How much would that set me back? Five nine nine. How much were you looking to spend? 80 quid, max. Aye, well, there's an optician next door. Get yourself a thicker pair of specs. <laughs> wow. That's fucked. <laughs> oh, here I Tom. Yeah, oh, here we go, Birkin hair. Shut your hole, Bobby. <laughs> you want know, hair, we're going to be robbing your grave. We'd be pissing in it. That's a lie, you prick. Aye, uh, uh, two pies and all. Two pies? Oh. Would you not get steak pie at the funeral? That's the only reason you go to these things, isn't it? Are you going to shut up? We were there to pay our final respects. That is all. Oh, that's Billy Ferguson buried then. Aye, what's left of him? Bloody liberty, what happened to that man? Mm. What a way to go, eh? Heart attack. Bad for deed. Lying at the back of the door eight days. Jesus. Right. Doug eats you. Boz first. <laughs> in the face. <laughs> that's what Doug's do, apparently. Aye. There's nothing left of Billy when they found him. Mind you, the dog had ballooned up to double the size. Yeah, <laughs> full of bully. Must be smashing being your age, eh? We pain doing your arm, dog sitting in the corner like that. Of course, you don't have to worry about a dog eating your boss, eh, Bobby? It's a wee fanny you've got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you still looking for a hoose up your block? You should get onto the council, cos... That's one line empty now. Uh, good call, boys. I'll get up there no more. Mm. Yeah. Wow. To Billy. To Billy. Oh, it. To Billy. Wait a lager, Bobby. Hello, lads. Oh, how's it going, Munson? That's Billy, plant it. Billy who? Billy knee, boys. What size was his telly? Who? Hey? Ugh. I was down the high street there looking at new tellies. The one I've got's no use. It's too wee. And? And I can't afford it, can I? They're too dear. I mean, how can they justify all that money just for a telly, eh? That's right. how I got this. You see, it says here, if you can't afford a big telly, you can build one. Well, that's what today, aye, aye. Oh, boy. Oh, you know, your oh, no. going to build me a nice big one and all oh, your daft tits. <laughs> what are you laughing at, eh? I mean, how hard can it be? If you've got all the bits, the wires and the plugs and the valves and all that. Valves? Valves. You didn't get valves and tellies <laughs> anywhere. It's, it's all things and... It's all things. That's right, they've got the, um... <laughs> The, the white light, the big white light. Wow. That's gone too. I can't believe you two haven't been heat it's hunted for Hitachi. <laughs> Mark my words, there's nothing to this telly building. Going to get that for us, Victor? Oh no, they're going to play a trick on somebody. Hello, clansmen. John! Christ, I thought you were dead. How have you been? Smash and I'll tell him right away. Cheerio, bye. That was John Logie Baird. He says you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> what could that be? Yes. Sign for us. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, what is it? That, son, 
is a telly. Mm -hmm. In an envelope. That's right. Aye. Right. Oh, Archie's coming out. Archie Taylor? Aye. You'll know where to go, but you'll want to stay in and watch your envelope. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to see Archie coming out. Where's my coat? Oh, wow. Archie, you might the lift. I hey? don't know where Archie is. You don't drive. Aye, I do. I've got a van. In here. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Victor. What are you doing? You're coming in for a pint there. Oh, no, they're new, you're no. I'm shot for the next half hour. For what? I didn't get that flat up your block. Archie go to it. Archie's coming out. What do you mean Archie's coming out? The councillor moved him so they can pull down his old building. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Archie's coming out. Hi. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I went to get up there early. Got a good spot. Suck it, I could look at him. That's what today is, aye. What has he been in there? Oh, he went in mid 60s, that right, Victor? Aye, mid 60s, that would be when you moved in, aye. I used to stay a couple of doors down from me, so. And he's never set a foot outside his house? No, complete hermit. What's he doing for food in there? Well, the social services will pop up twice a week, make sure he's all right. Messages and that. Oh, aye. Social services. That'll keep him up to date with what's going on outside the world, old tip. Oh, he's up to date, all right. Even the hermit knows you're a wanker, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, 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 Come with me, Archie, son. Archie, they wasted. Archie, See you. Oh, hello. Archie, you didn't want to look at that fat wanker. Yeah. Archie, 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 Archie. He's not coming out. He's <laughs> not coming out. Oh, that's the last you've seen in A2. <laughs> Jarvis and Victor McDade. How are you? How are you? Hi, good. You used to have a load of black hair. <laughs> <laughs> so did you. Hi. Funny. Coming out. Now, Mr. Taylor, your flitting's at three. Hi. We've got a car arranged for you. We'll take you over to your new flat in the Osprey Heights. Archie, that's your block. Right, you'll be in with us. We'll organise a cup of tea for you and your furniture will arrive in a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Mm -hmm. Is the bay horse still out there? It's called the Klansman knew me. <laughs> I and it's still a shite hole. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, darling. Um, I I'm going to go for a pint. Is that OK? Aye, of course. We'll give you a lift. No. No, I'd like to walk. Uh, that's all right, darling. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him. We'll look after him. OK. Here's your keys. Welcome out, Archie. We all clubbed together and we got you a Big Mac and fries. Wow. Look at those Enjoy uh, your degenerates. Meal. Oh, hi. Thank you, son. Ah. Oh. That was out of this world. <laughs> what was it? Hamburger, uh, McDonald's. McDonald's? Is that a butcher's? <laughs> <laughs> butcher's? No, it's a fast food shop. They've got them at other place now. I could get used to them. Oh. You and 30 billion others. <laughs> yeah. See you outside? Aye. Where are the houses? Oh, they're all popped in. Where are the people? Well, pissed off. <laughs> Who's the Prime Minister? Christ, you don't know that either? No. Never get a paper? No, I never take a paper. What about a telly? I put my boot through that 1966 World Cup. <laughs> 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 Stupid thing to do, really. Not at all, no. I lost a good wireless that day. <laughs> That's yeah, fucking hilarious. You've got catching up today, haven't you? What's that? These? No. No name, Bobby. They're optics. They've been about since before a Second World War. All right. Or this? This is a microwave. A microwave? What does it do? Feel that. Hi. Cold oh. pie. Cold pie. <laughs> <laughs> Plant 
fancy pants right there, Bobby. Still cold. A sheep foot. <laughs> that like looked like the shape of a dick of balls. Oh my god. How have I not caught that before? That's hilarious. <laughs> this is the screen. This is where you'll see the picture. Well, explain to me again. How does a picture get your stupid wee telly onto the wall? For God's sake. Right, you Luddite. Now, the reason you can see the TV picture from the other side of the room is because it gives out what are known as lumens. So, what you do is, you build a box round your telly, harness the lumens, magnify them, and then you project them onto a blank white screen. Voila. Right. Big bastard telly. <laughs> Big bastard <laughs> telly. Very technical. Aye. And once this is finished, I'll be building another one. What for? Anybody that wants one. Because once you see this baby in action, you'll all be wanting one. <laughs> oh, that science has gave you a big heed. Shut up, Igor, and hit the lights. The monster is about to awake. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's going to explode, isn't it? Just boom. <laughs> oh, no. That's no right. Well, you're blocking it. Who is that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he put the refractor in up the backwards. She's toy. <laughs> they put it in backwards, the magnifier. Oh. Hey, Ho. You fit? No. I don't fancy coming out the day, boys. Hey. Oh, we're going to do all sorts. No, I'm feeling a bit tired, you know. Oh, come on. We'll get you one of them cheesy burgers you like. No, I think I'll pass on that if that's all right. Uh, Fine, eh? See you now. Right back in. Tarzan. You say Tarzan now? Aye, Tarzan. Hey, what about him? Well, there's Tarzan, right? He lives in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Brought up by animals, very, very sheltered. He only knows the law of the jungle. Aye. We wee pal, cheer a monkey. Aye. <laughs> then he gets taken into civilization, but he doesn't fancy it. Uh huh. So he goes back to what he knows. Mm -hmm. He goes back. To the jungle. That's smashing, Victor. You seem to know the Tarzan story. <laughs> what in the name of Christ has that got to do with Archie? Oh, Hundred percent everything. He doesn't Archie's want to be old. Tarzan. Oh, come here, don't talk a lot of piss. That's what you're on about. Archie comes out, he doesn't fancy it, he's a way back in. He's named more than a shaved monkey jack. <laughs> so Archie's Tarzan? Aye. Yeah. Well, that would make his flat the jungle. Yes, sir. Mm hmm so who's cheated the monkey in all this? Nobody. <laughs> Archie's about to hold himself up again. I know. You know, the years have passed, millions of things have happened, and yeah. he's nain the wiser. Here, we'll go to the library, right? We'll get books, loads of old newspapers, and tell him every single thing that's happened for 1966. Wow. There's no need for that. What is it now? Right, Tarzan, this woman here wants a word with you. <laughs> 
no. Oh, no. Job, Isaac. That, that'll Imagine tire him out. A home cinema in your front room. You could go for a piss and no miss half the flick. You could have a baby. See, it's my house. No couples practically shagging in front of you. Maybe your shooter gab, gab, gabbing all the way through the film. Nah, I take it Isaac's no invited then. No. <laughs> ah, quality. So, how much is this technology costing you? Tenner. Add me to your list of doubting Thomases. You are an idiot. Good. Right. See you tonight. The main feature starts at eight. Here, you feeling a bit better after you're sitting in my eyes? I'm Jack. I'm. She's got a gob on her, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, lads, for the first time, I'm actually enjoying being out. Good. Oh, that's nice. Good up. So, uh, what made you become a hermit? Christ's sake, Bobby! I mean, you tacky booted bastard, you! Yeah. Oh, it's all right, boys. The lad's just curious. I was evacuated to a farm during the war. A lovely big place. We out past Stirling. Quiet. It was an old couple who looked after me. Really old. It was great. Every morning I'd help him feed the animals. I'd my own horse. The hell thing. Then we got news. My dad had been killed in Belgium. Shit. Four months after that, my mom dies of TB. I could have got him Uncle John's, but my Auntie Betty wasn't keen. Didn't have any kids. Must have liked it that way. Yeah. So I grew up on a farm. And of course, they died. I the farm didn't belong to me. The bank took it. I came back here and got a hoose off the corpy. Jesus, coming back to this place was like coming to New York. I mean, the place was jumping. There was cars everywhere, buses, music, factories, gangs around the boot killing each other. <laughs> I mean, coming back from a farm to all that, well, you know, it was just too much. Now, at first I was going out, you know, to the shop and that, but that winter I got pneumonia. And that's when the social worker got involved. They were bringing the messages. And that was it. <laughs> I got better, but I never went out again. Wow. One year, a wee moose came, looking for scraps and that. I was encouraging it, you know what I mean? I was quite happy to run up your arm. I used to talk to it. <laughs> Sometimes I even imagine it talk back. <laughs> uh, every day it came, regular as clockwork. So did it die? Aye, it died. I was having my cornflakes one morning, pouring them out into the bowl. It turns out he'd been gone every day as well. Regular as clockwork. The cornflakes had we shit boys all the way through it. Snap the wee bastards. Still can't look at a cornflake. <laughs> Cola day, you know, Veed. Aye, just a soft piece for me. How are you in? Aye, I'm in. Come away through. Still a couple of good seats left. Hey, we've brought up to you, if that's all right. Yay. Of course. Here's some beer here for you, Winston. Good. I'll stick them in the fridge. Here, you come through here with me. Right, you'll like this. Now, I bought this malt back in 1966. Wow. 14 quid it cost me back then. That was a lot of money. Aye, no half. I was going to open it when England get beat, but... Needless to say, it's still no opened. There you go. Here's to you, old chum. Oh. 
out and about. That's a really nice thing, Winston. Yeah. That's a really nice thing you've done. Oot in a boot. Oot in a boot. Don't wow. be touching that. I'm switching that on. What are we watching? <laughs> the 8 o'clock movie, Tower and Inferno. What was that? Paul Newman's a fireman and Steve McQueen's the architect. Not damn. It's the other way about. Right. Well, I've one mare, then I'm putting that away. No one in the arsehole's getting it. <laughs> it's Fred Astaire now in the Tower and Inferno. Aye. Right. We don't talk pish. Fred Astaire wasn't here in the Tower and Inferno. Uh -huh. I'm sure he is. Ah, that's right, mate. He comes out and he goes like that. Pod on the new, the building's in fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, actually, Jackie is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven. Turn Inferno, 70s disaster classic, starring Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, William Holden, and Fred. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven thirty. Christ, Winston, here, hurry up! This match is going to start. Come on, wait, wait, hold on, David, up and get out to your seat. Oh no, 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 that's all right. No, no, no. no. Shh. You up, you sit down. <sighs> this is rare. Right. <clears throat> now, gentlemen. What you're about to witness this evening... Shut up and turn it on. Probably no work anyway. I need a fish. Sit in your ass, <laughs> Gentlemen, prepare to be amused. <laughs> What's going on? Relax, relax. It's just warming up. <clears throat> it's a pile of shit. Whoa! There it is! Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, it's like a... Like a picture hall! Oh, I don't know what to say. Ah, he's a clamp, ain't he? Now, what's happening here, gentlemen, is that the light has been refracted from the tube onto the. Oh, lens. there he is, Fred Astaire, huh? <laughs> Get a right up here, Jack! <laughs> Shut your hole! Crystal clear! Oh my god! Look at the flames! This is a. They're in a monster. Very realistic. Ah, you can practically smell it. Aye, that's because your curtains are on fire, Winston. Oh, oh no! Wow! <laughs> so good! Big screen telly for a ten, are you? What's the set of curtains of Pelmet up a cab on the radio, Graham? He's a dozy bastard! <laughs> I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Oh, <laughs> aye, aye. It could have been, I suppose, aye. Aye, well, this is my floor. <laughs> oh, thanks for a great night, lads. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, bastards! You better phone the police. Well, no need the polis. Name of Christ is all that. That's about 40 years' worth of social money. You should have that in the bank. Well, no be news. <laughs> That's true. You should have it in the bank, Elsie. Aye. I know. Wow. Do you know that's a fortnight now and still nobody's seen him? Oh, well, he's not coming back out, is he? No. First time in years he sets foot out of his door and he gets his house tanned. It's a bloody liberty. Aye. Yeah. I have to turn them down to a hermit. It's a shame, too, because he was getting on so well. I was selling in nice, the pub and that. See, I don't think that's right, you know, locking yourself away like that. I've got a good mind to go up to his door and say something to him, eh? Ugh, I'm not so sure, Jack. Sure they're dragging him down the stairs. What are you going to say to him to get him out? Listen to you two. Get him out to what, eh? Craig Lang. A shite hole of the first order. I mean, it's all right for us. We're used to it. Yeah. It's him for us, we don't know any better. But he's come out, he's taken one look at Craig Lang and all his occupants, us three included, and he's thought, stick that up your arse. Right. <laughs> I mean, pals are few and far between at our age. Mm -hmm. I think we should be keeping a watch out for him, you know? Or at the very inside, go up to the door and tell him he's making a big mistake. Right. Aye. Aye. Aye, you're right, Jack. Come on. Mm -hmm. Right, chat the door. Oh, 
bit of a chap, but this was your idea. Uh, you agreed with me. Get the bloody door, chap. You chap it. You chap it. Chap the door. Will you chap the door? <laughs> Lads. Look, Archie. Is it your intention not to come out again? Uh, before you answer, you'd be sadly missed. I mean, we were getting on really well. No, I'm not coming out, lads, again. Mm. But think about all you're gearing up. Like what? Well, there's us, the park, the tune, the clansmen. OK, forget the clansmen. But there's <laughs> lots today. Lads, you're being lovely, but don't worry. I've been used to staying indoors all the years. That's what I know. That's what I'm comfortable with. Archie, yeah. how can you be comfortable with that? It's a miserable existence. <laughs> miserable existence? <laughs> As you can see, I didn't bank the money. Wow. And I'll no go short of company. Oh. Aww. So you've made your mind up then? I have, Jack. I. Mm. One. So sad. That sucks. I'd like the pals over for a pint or so every once in a while. Cheerio, lads. That's oh, Archie. <laughs> Twenty-seven fucking logs. <laughs> I've left my bonnet in there. We'll get you a new one. <laughs> Fuck. Who's this new? It's a horrendous color orange. Yeah. What is that? It's a parcel. You've to sign for it. Aye. Well, you better bring it in here. Stick it through here. Right. Stick it there. Dear Winston, thanks for the dram. Leave the telly building to the Japs. Archie. That's <laughs> a telly in an envelope. Oh, look, Chris. A telly in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> That is funnier than hell. I can't believe I called that. Archie! If you're not coming out, can we not come in? <laughs> Lovely big telly. Uh huh. And they leather couches. Mm hmm. Technically, you still would be a hermit, Archie. Aye, there's nothing to say a hermit can't have visitors, Archie. It's nothing true. at all. Archie. Damn. He's shut in. Well, I suppose that's that then, eh? Uh, yeah. I see a pint at the Klansman. Hi. Sounds like a plan, boys. <laughs> oh, my gosh, what a great episode. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. Hey, Archie finally came out, and uh, unfortunately, when he was out, his place was broken into, and but it worked out for him. He was able to replace everything with all that money he had saved up from <clears throat> 30 odd years. And yeah, great episode. I can't wait for the next one. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye. <laughs>